Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. So, this is like attempt number four at this video. <laughs> um, so we got the Versatile 935 in our air seeder over here. Well, after a bunch of failed things, then I finally realized that I'm just an idiot. Could not get this planner to work. You gotta turn the cultivator on, then you gotta turn the tank on could not get anything to turn on could not get it to do anything well this hose is a pto and i didn't have it connected so <laughs> i even had the 47 over here trying to figure out what was going on i even tried a different tank and then that's when i realized oh wait there's a hose that is the PTL. <laughs> so, we have that. Um, so, as you guys can see, we're on April 1st. We're in the field. And there was no video yesterday of selling grain. Well, I recorded a video of us blowing some snow and selling some grain. And my video file went corrupt. Don't know how, don't know why, but I lost the whole 45 minute video. So, in selling all of our grain, we made, find it here, $392,716. And we are currently sitting with $388,000. Um, I have our international here hooked up to our gravity wagons. One is filled with seed and one is filled with fertilizer. And uh, I already filled the planter once, obviously. So today, what we're going to be doing is doing some seeding. We're going to get things set up correctly here first. Perfect. So, <clears throat> we are going to get started here on our oats. I don't know why this thing is not wanting to shift itself. Well, that is definitely interesting. But, uh, yeah, so as you can see, with fast-forwarding as much time as we did, um, our field is full of weeds, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to put put our seed in. We're going to till the uh, weeds under here, and then we'll be fine for now we uh, will have to spray later on this year but that is perfectly fine we have our sprayer we have our trailer to haul chemical to our sprayer so not that big of a deal there we go now we're finally rolling Apparently, four mile an hour is like the max speed that this tractor wants to pull this at. So it's definitely going to take us a while to do our seeding at this rate, but that's all right. So today we're going to work here on field 50 and uh, see if we can manage to get this field done. And then when we come back, we will do our last field and uh, get everything switched over so we can put corn in. Um, 
we will have to roll our oats fields before we can switch over. We don't want to miss any growing time. And uh, from what I've seen and had happen before, apparently when you uh, don't roll your fields, I don't know if it was just an issue that I was having um, at one time, but uh, one time on a just kind of fuck around save game, basically, I had this big giant operation set up on Midwest Horizons, and I did not roll my fields, and nothing grew. But I think it was also uh, partially to do with the easy developer controls. Um, when you use that and you set it to a certain month or day or anything like that, it tends to kind of cause problems. So, um, I'm not sure if that was the issue or not. So I'm not sure if this speed is something that's set in the planter or if maybe we just don't have quite enough power. So, we'll start our next headland pass here.
this is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't get why this thing does not want to pull any faster. Or why it won't automatically shift on its own. That's the weirdest part to me. Walk onto this line and go down. It's a very nice setup. I just wish it uh, would pull faster. I don't really want to like take the time to. Well, I definitely don't want to buy another tractor, but to lease a tractor and then get everything unhooked, hook up to a new tractor, we're gonna end up just killing a bunch of time. So. But I guess in the end it would be kind of worth it if it does pull faster because then. We wouldn't have one field take us an hour. That should only take like 10 to 15 minutes. There we go. We need to get some dust rolling here. Thought something was kind of missing. Okay, I am going to be right back. Give me one second, folks. Alrighty, welcome back. We're going to jump right back into it here. <coughs> hmm. I did try um, also taking out the real sim mod to see if maybe that was uh, contributing to the struggle of this tractor on this air seeder, and apparently it did not. So um, I did have to close down my game since last video um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure what I was talking about in the last video but um, 
or in the last part of the video, I should say. It's been a couple days since I've recorded uh, the last part up until recording this part, so. <clears throat> so at the time that you guys are seeing this video, um, we have started the new series on Ashton Corners. Um, so if you have not already checked that out, be sure to go check it out and uh, give it a watch. Definitely going to be a very interesting series to uh, get going on here. So, and uh, if you guys are liking some of the setup that we are running now, I think you guys will really enjoy that series as well. And so, just a little reminder, we are um, flip-flopping back and forth between the two. We are running this series for two days, and then two days of our other series. So, um, just to kind of switch things up and get a little mix of everything. So we're going to try and get this field finished up today here and uh, continue on with more of our planting. And then uh, as well tonight, in addition to this video, there will be a video with a little bit of an update on the uh, Lake Chida, North Dakota map that I am working on. So if you guys are, uh, if you guys have seen the first video of it and you guys are interested in it, be sure to go check out that video tonight. Um, gotten a little bit of progress made, so um, definitely go check that video out Do a little bit of in cab driving here now that we are uh, running our GPS lines so since the beginning of this video and now um, the 1.9 patch has come out and I have downloaded it so if you guys notice it lagging at all uh, it's just it trying to reload everything on the map um, because I haven't started this save game since the patch was released so it's been actually about a week almost since uh, the first half of this video and now. So just trying to kind of remind myself of where we're at and what we're doing here. So we got to fast forward a month to be able to find our corn. Okay. Now I'm caught back up to speed here. <laughs> <clears throat> so we definitely got a little bit of work ahead of us here to uh, get everything ready to go. definitely making things take a little bit longer with the fact that uh, this planter does or this tractor does not quite want to run the way that I feel that it should be with this uh, cedar I could be wrong maybe it is running correctly I'm not sure but it just seems like it's struggling way more than it should be I 
it's not wanting to shift into that third gear and then it's making us slow way down. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And it's definitely in the range where it should be shifting. But uh, for whatever reason, it does not seem to want to shift. Now we got it to shift and just kind of keep rolling. So I'm not sure if maybe it's an issue with the fact that, you know, a lot of these tractors and everything are set up to be used with the manual gearbox rather than the way I'm running it where I'm using it in automatic mode. I took that corner way too fast. Let's get our cruise set back. Um, so it could be part of that. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, it definitely is quite annoying. I do like that you can see all of the springs kind of bouncing around there from uh, everything moving with the ground. It would be even better if the hoses actually moved with it there on the bottom. But sometimes you can't have it all, right? And there's only so much that... Uh, you can do with farm sim here so that's definitely another added thing to it there and then we'll get uh, this finished right here get turned around and we can grab that last little bit and then we are done with our first field of oats and then we'll uh, we'll take this up to our next field and uh, next video we'll probably I'll probably off camera do the next field and a majority of our last oat field and then in the next video we'll come back and we'll finish up the last little bit and uh, we'll get it, get started on rolling our fields here. So our next field that we're going to head over to is going to be probably field 10 there. <clears throat> so, we'll head up there next. And then we'll have one more video of uh, where we'll be planting oats, and then we'll be on to our rolling, and then planting our corn which is definitely going to take a little bit between uh, I mean field uh, what is it up here 28 is fairly decent sized 
But then we've also got this big monster of a field over here to do. So we've definitely got some uh, ground to cover yet. We'll wait for this pickup to go by and then we'll pull on out here. This is definitely a neat setup. I really do like this uh, air seeder setup. It's a good, uh, you know, getting into an air seeder kind of setup. It's nothing super huge, nothing super fancy, nothing like that. So. I'm hoping that uh, by the time we go to upgrade air seeders, the flexicoil reskin of the uh, Hudson Bickler, I think is what it is. Uh, hopefully that's out by then. That would definitely be very uh, neat to move up to next. out on the road here let's see if we can tuck this thing over far enough without uh, putting anything in the ditch if we keep that center line of the hood in line with the uh, white line we should be all right right here that we need to turn down and we need the field all the way in the back Alrighty, and here we are. So, like I said, guys, I will get this field uh, seeded, and then I will uh, get a good majority of our, uh, what is it, field nine, yep, uh, field nine planted as well. And then when we come back in the next episode, um... We will do the last couple passes of seeding. We'll get this guy taken home, and then we'll get our roller out and get started on rolling our fields. So, hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow.